How old is St. Lucia? 44 years old. The students came out in their large numbers, dressed in the colors of the island's national flag. The various events featured musical, dance and drama performances from various students of the education districts. Addressing the Independence Rally of District 5, Education Minister Honorable Sean Edward said the responsibility to define what it means to be truly St. Lucian is to be reflected in how each St. Lucian, including school children, conduct themselves in everyday life. All we are asking of you from the Ministry of Education is to love your country. And there are little things you can do as students to love your country. For example, in school, when your teachers speak to you, you must listen and you must obey. By doing that, you are showing that you love your country. When you are eating your snacks and you take the wrapper and you place it in the bin instead of dropping it on the floor, it tells us that you love your country. When you respect your teachers, it tells us that you love your country. When you obey your parents, it tells us that you love your country. Minister Edward, who is also the MP for Denry North, was joined by his colleague, the MP for Miku North, Honorable Jeremiah Norbert, who encouraged the schools in attendance to exemplify the independence theme in whatever they do. Despite we may be at Denry North, at Denry South, at Miku North, at Miku South, we all form part of the umbrella District 5, and we, all, we need to, to keep that in mind that we are all part of one community. District 5's education officer, Shah Sharif, said the rallies allow students to express a love for their country. While he says the nation's growth must be celebrated, a number of issues confronting the nation do affect its ability to achieve greatness and deserve equal attention. But if we are going to shape our destiny as a people, then there needs to be a collective responsibility on our part to do away with anything that is negative anything that will hinder our progress. And so there must be a zero tolerance for crime and violence. All the rapes and disrespect to others and property and others' well-being must be something of the past. There needs to be that desire or zeal to push forward and to put down the guns and the drugs that's causing us to lose a generation of young men. For Education Officer for District 1, Cyrus Sipa, being number one doesn't come in just name, but also in attitude and performance. And St. Lucia will be watching that listen, District 1, we were at Brazil having our independent celebration. So we need to let them know what our hashtag is. Young for students, District 1, we are just warming up. District 1, years because of COVID, we were not able to have our district to rally. But I'm happy that the government of St. Lucia um, saw the need to continue this program and made the funds available to the district education office so we can facilitate this program. A son of the soil and medical doctor, Dr. Kid Maddor, was the guest speaker for District 1's independence rally. Those who do not call the home as in St. Lucia, they should never be able to take care of her better than we can, okay? Her natural beauty is unmatched. She has the highest rates of Nobel laureates per capita. That means we're not just beautiful, we're also brilliant, all right? From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.